In this video, we're going to show you how nearby objects can affect the infrared on your security camera. In this case, we're showing a bullet, but you, it, this happens in a bullet dome, any camera. What happens is you've got infrared LEDs on a security camera, and when you put it in a tight corner next to either an eaves on top or a wall on this side and this side or even one side, as objects come closer and closer to the camera, even though they might not be necessarily in the view of the camera sensor, but what happens is when you bring them closer and closer in something like this, what will happen is the infrared actually bounces off from the object and goes back into the image sensor, causing a glow. So I'm going to show you a test where I'm going to bring in my hand closer and closer to the camera and you're going to see a diffuse glow in the infrared up here and uh, other demonstrations as well. This is called IR reflection from a nearby object back inside the camera. This happens frequently when customers mount a camera, even let's say a bullet, and there's an eaves up above. Although you can't see it, it's still causing an IR reflection. So if there's an eaves, it's not in the image sensor's view, the IR actually reaches the eaves and bounces right back in. And that's what causes uh, different types of IR issues. So now I'm actually going to bring my hand closer and closer to the camera to show you what IR glow looks like or reflection. Start seeing this. So this haziness that starts developing, it's because of my hand being too close to it. So if your camera is mounted too close to an ease, either a dome or a bullet, it does not matter. You'll start seeing reflection like this. Or let's say, your, your camera is angled up and you have an eaves kind of protruding out in front of the camera, something like this will happen. What the camera will do is over time, in order to compensate for the uh, oversaturation or high contrast objects, specifically my hand, it will start to dim the infrared for all the other stuff. So you can have all sorts of issues like this. Even from the side, this will happen. So if you have things too close to the camera, you're gonna start encountering all sorts of weird, weird issues with your IR. Now I'm gonna show you another form of IR issue commonly encountered, it's called Smart IR. You can kinda of see it here because the shelf here is actually absorbing a lot of IR and the camera's compensating for its IR throw, so the objects in the back, you don't actually see them as bright as the ones you see in the front. This is to reduce overexposure when the IR is being thrown with objects being too close. In the past, uh, security cameras used to throw out all their full IR strength, but what would happen is if someone would too, come too close, you wouldn't see their face and they would look like Casper completely blanked out. Then there was no reason to have a security camera because you wouldn't capture a face. Then a technology called Smart IR came about to um, allow the camera to recognize close by objects and reduce IR intensity. So imagine this is a object it could be a bush, it could be a person, it could be a structure from your home. If you have something, you bought a camera that has an IR throw of 100 feet or more, and you're expecting that, and you put an object too close to the camera, this is what's going to happen. It's going to focus its IR just so that the object in the front, it thinks this, this is the subject you want to look at, and the rest of the stuff in the background will become dim. You need to be able to recognize that this is a a uh, not a problem with cameras it's a smart technology to allow the camera to reduce its IR intensity to make sure it can see objects that are up close so imagine if you had a camera on your porch and it would see infrared all out but when someone started walking in if it was too bright then that person would completely look like Casper so what the camera does is to give you a good pretty picture it reduces its IR intensity we hope you find this video useful thanks for watching